This is Buy by Money, and today is January 27, 2021. And welcome to my live trading journal with live commentary scalping the ES using only one single setup, the two leg pullback. And in this trading journey, we want to try to make $500 a day. By no means do we have to make $500 a day, we can make more or we can make less. Our main goal is to take the best setups possible with the two leg pullback. If you do not know what a two leg pullback is, it is simply this. First pullback, we call this the first entry, second pullback, and we'd like to enter into the second entry right here. And also we call this an ABC pattern, it's just much easier to say. Essentially the same thing. We like to enter the second entry here. And we like to find this setup, this price action setup, in key areas such as moving averages, trend lines, channels, and support resistance levels. For instance, if I take this two leg pullback and I bring it to my chart right here, you can see that we have a nice two leg pullback right here. First pullback, first entry, second pullback, and then finally the second entry. And we can see that it makes for a scalp and even more than that. And we like this one because this has a strong downtrend here. Then there's a two leg pullback. Right, one pullback and another pullback, so two pullbacks in a row, and we can see that the market reverses. On the and it happens right at the 20 EMA, and not only that, at the 240 SMA as well. So we get double uh, resistance right there with the moving averages. And so uh, the reason why this is such a high probable trade and why we look for this certain setup is because as Al Brooks mentions the market loves to move in twos and so once the market makes two pullbacks the market feels very confident to enter into the second entry they're not as confident in the first entry but when the second entry comes they are very confident to enter the institutions and traders like to enter into these second entries it's the same psychology as double tops and double bottoms whenever the market tries to make two attempts at something then typically after the second attempt it feels way more confident to enter in and so that's why we like to find this setup according with good context uh, we try to find this setup because it oftentimes is like a greater than 90 percent uh, scalp if you'd like to learn more details about this setup i'll have two playlists in the description below you can check that out and also if you look at the chart uh, there are a bunch of numbers here. Uh, this is an indicator that uh, automatically counts all legs and identifies two leg pullbacks for you. So you can see um, the dark red numbers are second entry shorts and dark green numbers are second entry longs. So you can see here at this second entry here, this two leg pullback, we have a dark red one here showing that this was a two leg pullback. And so, um, it's nice because not only does it tell you after the fact, but it tells you before the fact. It tells you with the super signal here that this next leg that's coming down, if it breaks the prior candles low, is a two-leg pullback. And so that's what the super signal is. It also shows you exactly where to put your stop entry uh, if you were to enter this trade. It gives you also a tick count and also the, the leg count number. So the super signal is a very powerful part of the indicator that helps you or helps me tremendously at least uh, so I don't have to focus on counting legs and oh is this is this next uh, reversal going to be a second entry long or short I just have it the indicator tell me and I can just focus oh this is a good spot for this second entry short so I'll go in and it's as easy as that if you like more information about the indicator itself uh, you can go to the official website at www.twolegapullback.com well, for this video, we will be scalping the ES, and today I did another raw session. I've uh, just been very busy these days uh, early on. And so, um, yeah, did, so found 30 minutes in the uh, end of the day. And, um, yeah, let's see if I can make the goal of 
in the last 30 minutes of trading. Let's see if it's possible. And so I hope you stick around and watch. And as always, happy trading and God bless. All right, last 30 minutes of trading. Let's see if we can get some trades in here today. Today has been crazy just looking at the market. Okay, we got a nice trap here actually. Continue this downtrend. But with the trap, trigger near the bottom of these wicks. So actually, now I actually like it. That looks like that. You should like it when the wick ends like this. We still have a measure move down for the 10k chart for this leg. This measure move. Actually, let's use this as a measure move. We still have a little bit more to go for the measure move. Okay, no longer interested in that trade. Okay, so we got failed breakout, but I'm actually interested in going short here. I don't think we're I don't think we're done yet. It's going down. Trend has been down all day today. The right signal bar I'd be interesting going short here with the red diamond here. Two like a pullback. A B See, got the two-legged pullback right off the 20 MA, bottom of this trading range. Act as support, now acts as resistance. So we're expecting to get a point here, even more than a point perhaps, but we'll scalp out a point here. There we go. There's a point. It's a simple two-legged pullback to the 20 MA on a strong downtrend. I mean, it's that's just like the bread and butter of the two-legged pullback. Plus you had this trading range created from this swing here. And as you can see, it traded inside this trading range, broke out, failed breakout, and it typically continues to uh, the original trend, breaks out the other side. So that's what we just saw here. 10K almost reaching its measured move here. Again, this measured move is just this leg here. From the extreme to the extreme, we measure it from here to here. And um, if we don't get there and start reversing, then it can have a strong reversal up. But I'm assuming we're going to get close to there. I'm going to assume that until proven false, until proven wrong. This is our trend line so far. Yeah, the measure move is so close. I could have got more from that, but let's just scalp out for now. And let's see here. Five minute. What's my five minutes showing me? Got a trend basically starting from here to here. We got a price target at this yellow line. Ten K it's about one one point away from the measured move. I probably could have a limit order here and get a one point bounce one point scalp to be honest. Probably could. However I hold off on that. The reason why I'm saying that is because you see this breakdown is not as strong. You know, it's, you see some weakness here. Kind of a big bull body here. So if I had bought a limit order right there, probably could make a point. Because people are trying to get out now. Yep, point was made. So I could have easily made a point there if I put a limit order there because of the measured move. But. Not just a measure move, but also showing some weakness of this downtrend. Right, we had a pullback here, pullback here, bull bodies here, kind of wicks here showing the price action went up this high. Um, it's not as strong, you know. You you don't want these wicks and um, you know on a strong bear trend. Let's 
trying to read the price action as best we can. We hit the measure move pretty much to the T. Two ticks below it, you know, basically everyone's just getting out and then reversed it. And, um, you know, I, I would like a two legged pullback that looks like this. So we want to go long. And so we want a two legged pullback that looks like this. And we kind of want to go uh, long here. Um, that bothers me, that little. Okay, so if we want a low, higher low. This is the two legged pullback we're looking for here. We want to skip over this one. We actually want to go in uh, the next two layer pullback at a higher low. So let's see if we get this. Just waiting for our setup here. If this is the reversal spot, but uh, we shall see. see if I could make my goal a 500 in the last 30 minutes here I mean with this volatile market we probably could so this is the 10k chart let's go back to the 2k chart here so we got two legs down after this two legs move up two legs down and yeah I'm not fighting against this definitely not fighting against this right now I'm very strong now when the market makes its mind up, it's very hard to, f to fight it. Very hard to fight it. Strong bear bar ending on its low. Not near its low, on its low. So we didn't get this set up. Get rid of the setup. That's what we're anticipating. Um, you know, and if it did pop up a little bit, it could have broken down just like this, you know, just as easily. And so that's why we kind of wait for that second higher low to get in on these, um, near these bottom of the trading ranges or or we think that you know it could possibly reverse here. All right, so we're still downtrend, strong downtrend, almost no types of support here. You can argue there's a wedge here coming up. You could argue maybe there's a wedge here coming up, already uh, broken down but it can basically fail break out this wedge here and come right back up. It could do that. Uh, I'll be more confident on this wedge down here, just cause it's steeper. Usually if there's something steeper, you know, if you want to go long, you typically want to go on the lower target. And if you want to go short, you want to wait for the higher target. If there's two types of resistances and one's higher, then you always do the, the worst one in a sense. So we do get a point here, and much more. Is it strong enough for reversal? I don't think so. Come back to that measure move. You see this gap here just filled. And if it closes above the gap, so the way Al Brooks uses a gap is that when there's a strong breakout bar like this, if there's a gap between the bar before and the bar after it, such as with the bottom here and the high here, then that typically constitutes a strong breakdown. But here that gap filled with this bar because it went beyond this low. So that shows weakening of this downtrend. That gap should not have filled if it's a strong downtrend. The way he uses gap is very different than most people use gap, but the idea makes complete sense to me at least. Breakout bars typically create gaps, right? This breakout bar created a gap from this low to this high. And so you have strong downtrend until it gets filled. And then you see now it's starting to reverse as it fills. So we got a two-legged pullback here. Um, after that wedge bottom, do we want to go long here? A, B, C. Or do we want to go, or do we want to go short or long here? We can wait for the trap. Um, Nah, okay, obviously trap is gone. So there was a two-legged pullback. A mighty fine two-legged pullback. And uh, makes a point easily. 
but we could be having a weakening of this downtrend. Now we see big bull bars ending near their high. It typically means uh, the trend might turn into a trading range. And so what do we do? We start looking for a trading range. We anticipate the trading range. It might not happen, but we anticipate it. We start anticipating it. Currently, if I could create a trading range, it looks something like this. And um, yeah, it could break out down here and then reverse back up. But let's see. See what happens here. Trading this market. All right, maybe we get a some clear sound like this. Okay, so we can have a breakout here. Um, I would be very wary of this breakout if it does happen because we have a trading range now and this breakout could give you a point but could easily turn back and come back in this trading range. We typically expect breakouts to fail. That's what we're basically, you know, most time breakouts do fail. I mean, math, the trader's equation. Uh, makes it so breakouts typically fail. Otherwise, your risk reward to probability is just too great. And that trader's formula does not, cannot exist in this world. There's no way with a market this balanced that uh, the institutions will allow that. And so uh, typically breakouts fail. We don't know how far they're gonna fail, but typically they do fail and stop people out. And then oftentimes reverse right back up to finally break out. So um, if this breaks out, I would be hesitant to go long, but I will be more inclined to go short actually. So see a breakout here, I will be inclined to go short on the two-legged pullback as we see here. So we have a two-legged pullback now, it goes like this, A, B, C, and most breakouts fail. So let's look at the Signal bar here. Signal bar is really strong closing outside of the trading range. Very strong follow through. So we might have a genuine breakout here. It's okay, we missed this trade because we're not worried about breakouts necessarily. You know, we want to trade a high probable trade here. And so have we generally broken out? We've broken this trend line now. And so the question, big question is, have we generally broken out? And if that's the case, we can come in with a pullback trade so let's see here let's see how good the signal bar is typically breakouts fail but i don't think this is strong enough to re reverse this these strong bull bars it could but i don't think this uh signal bar is strong enough inside bar plus okay so it made a perfect scalp traders are still trapped and it makes an absolute scalp so that was obviously strong enough to reverse at least give a scalp out but it's okay we don't mind that we do not mind that because we want to look for our next setup here this is our setup that we want to see we want to see a two-legged pullback for this breakout and see how far back this this pullback really uh, pulls back <laughs> i wouldn't mind if it comes back down here like this i wouldn't mind something like this Preferably something like this. We'll be going with a higher low. This is the two legged pullback I would like to see here to kind of confirm this breakout here. But if we start trading inside like this, then most likely fail breakout, which is kind of what we thought. Strong bear bar inside the trading range. So if we had a setup. It would be something like this. We could potentially have a double bottom here. Double bottom, trading range. I still need a two-legged pullback. This is a first entry, first 
Oh, pullback. I need a two legged pullback. First pullback. First entry commenced here. Let's see if we can get our second pullback. Let's see if we can get our second pullback. Hopefully, with a higher low than this pivot. And uh, we'll be looking to go long here. And then, uh, about, yeah. Let's see if we can make the goal in about 30 minutes here. Okay. More signs that the bulls are strong here. But unfortunately, if it breaks this high, we lose our two legged pullback. We lose our setup here. It looks like we might lose our setup. This pivot cannot break this pivot high or else we lose our setup. We need this to stay below this pivot low on this bare a bull leg here. We need to stay below here so the count does not reset. Will the market actually give us a two legged pullback? Double bottom. Saying if you want, you can get a double bottom. Ooh. All right. Double bottom got me. Micro double bottom. It's not, it didn't trigger the two legged pullback, but I'll take it for the. Oh. Ooh. Take it for the uh, micro double bottom two legged pullback here. On a smaller time frame, that would have been a two legged pullback, as we can see here. And. Shame on me, I don't have my indicator on this chart. Okay, so I made my scalp. And, yep, here was a two legged pullback, but. All right, so we did it. Uh, we made our 500 in less than 30 minutes. So I'll take that for today on this crazy day. Uh, but hope it's been helpful. And, uh, happy trading and God bless.